Hello, I'm Bernie Levy, Congregational Care Pastor here at Palmasia United Methodist. Welcome to this week's prayer cast. Some of you may know the renowned English author G.K. Chesterton as the author of the PBS popular show Father Brown, in which a British priest investigates crime in his own particular way using intuition and psychology. By the influence of his wife, Chesterton was brought into the Anglican Church, and later in life, he became a Roman Catholic. I thought of him after having watched the first of the presidential debates between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I recently read that Chesterton was once asked, if Jesus were living in our world today, what do you think he would be doing? Chester thought for a moment and then replied, he is living in our world today. He is living and loving in us. If that is true, and I believe it is, what does it mean for Jesus to be living and loving in and through us, given the highly partisan, most often negative, non-civil and fear-mongering, angry, polarizing and personal attacking political climate in our nation today, epitomized in the first of the three presidential debates? If it is true, and I believe it is, that Jesus is living and loving in and through us today, it means that nothing Nothing should prevent us from expressing through our words and actions the love of God given to us in Jesus Christ. It means that as much as we may disagree with the presidential candidates or our neighbors or our family members' political views and the way they express them in our responses, we should not degrade or vilify him or her. They too are God's creation, God's children, and Jesus calls us to love even our enemy and to do good to those who would persecute us. So, when we are in conversation with those with whom we disagree, whether it is a political or social or religious issue, Jesus living in and through us means we let them have their say. We do not interrupt. And in our responses, we may strongly disagree and state our position, but without demeaning or condemning them, and without labeling them with a derogatory name. If you are like I am, that's not going to be easy to do. We can, however, allow Jesus living in us to demonstrate what the Apostle Paul said to Timothy in his second letter. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice or fear or timidity, dependent on the translation, but rather God gave us a spirit of power and love and self-discipline. If ever I need, and perhaps you too, those gifts of God within me, it will be as I demonstrate in my words and actions, Jesus living in and through me during these days until the election. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that we live in this nation where we do elect our political leaders. We pray that during these next 41 days, we may have God's power, love, and self-discipline that Jesus may live and love in us, especially in relationship with those with whom we strongly disagree. Amen. God bless the rest of your week. Be in church someplace this Sunday.